so we are going to um, or I say I am going to now prepare Eclipse IDE and Java FX so we can uh, run Java FX inside the Eclipse IDE so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to create a new folder here and this is uh, on my desktop where I created the Java programming and put the Eclipse folder in and I'm going to call it FX and this is where I'm going to store all the FX libraries which I, which I am going to download and uh, so we're going to go to our favorite browser and we're going to type in glue on Java FX and when you click enter you will find the glue on hq.com products Java FX glue on so we're just going to click on that and then I am going to install the, ja the um, SDK for Windows and I'm going to install the SDK for the 64-bit because my system is 64. Now if you want to know what your system is, you just click on the Windows key and you type in information and system information and there you will find uh, your system type which is a 64-bit in my case so I'm going to download the Windows 64-bit SDK. I'm going to click on that and download that. Uh, you can see I've already downloaded it. I'll just download it again. And when you've downloaded that, you're going to drag it. Uh, I'm going to drag it into my folder which I've created, which is the FX folder, and I'm going to just extract it here. There we go. So now we've got our Java FX SDK. So the next step we have to do is um, prepare Eclipse for using Java FX. So we're going to open our IDE <coughs> and our workspace, our default workspace. Loading, please wait. There we go. This is our default workspace and our test application, which we made. So in here, we're going to go to the help uh, tab. Open that. We're going to go to Eclipse Marketplace and wait for everything to load. There we go. It is all loaded up. So we're just going to type FX in here and click enter because we are looking for the FX application. And it is this EFX 3.7.0. And we're going to install. And we're going to click on finish. Now we just have to wait for all the software to be installed as you can see in the bottom right hand corner it's just being installed and it will ask us to restart and we click on the restart now there we go <coughs> Uh, we'll just hide that. We have our applications here. Now <coughs> we can open our first Java application. Hmm. Excuse me, our first Java FX application. So if we go into File, New, oh, let's try it again, New, and we go into Other, we will have our Java FX uh, tab here, which we can expand and then we're going to go to a Java FX product and we're going to click next. We're going to call it <coughs> FX test because we want to test our FX application. We're going to click finish. <coughs> Excuse me. So here we have our first Java FX application and as you can see we still have errors we cannot run our Java FX applications yet. So what we will do is we now have to prepare the libraries. So if we right click on our application and we go to build path and we select configure build path. In here we make sure we click on the libraries tab and we click on module path. Not on class path, module path and for that module path we are going to add external jars so 
there we go so you go to where you have inst uh, installed your FX application which is uh, in my desktop Java programming FX folder we're going to open it up and we're going to go to the libraries folder and we're going to select all the jars there and we're going to click open that will put all our jars our external jars into our module path and we're going to click apply and we can also click apply and close and you will see that all the errors have vanished so for every new application that we create we can go through that process which is okay so uh, in our application we're just going to make sure it's all working we're going to right click and run as Java application and there we go we have got our first Java FX window congratulations that is our first Java FX window and we will start coding from here on so I hope this was useful and uh, uh, just before I close though I will just show you that if I create another uh, another new um, other project and we're going to create another new Java FX project and we're going to call it test underscore 2 and click finish you will see that uh, we do get our errors but it's very easy <coughs> to sort this out because we can just go to our build path like we've done before and we can configure build path make sure we click on the libraries the module path and add external jars and it should just go to where we've been before and we can just select our jars and click open apply and close and our errors will disappear and we can run our application by right clicking it and say run as oh. Did I do something wrong let's just go back to source module info sorry we want to go into applications right click run as Java application there we go there we have our Java application so it's working so that is how we create our Java FX applications <coughs> I hope you enjoyed this, I hope it was useful, and if you have any questions, you can leave that in the comments. Thank you very much, and happy coding!